Hi everybody, Father Bill Holtzinger here, and this is your Friday Reflection. This is my third, maybe fourth attempt to do this video. I have a recording system, and for some reason, it's not liking me. Well, anyhow, complaining aside, doesn't do me any good, huh? Just keep trying. Well, here I am. I'm uh, walking away from the church here in the parking lot. I want to share with you some information that's going on and uh, give you some background. So let's start there. Background. Several years ago with Father Dave, we were told that Walker Road was going to be expanded to the point where the house here, which is the office, would be pretty much taken out. It would go right through the office. They backed off from that plan and then changed it to right near it. So let's see here. I'll move over so you can see it a little differently. So it'll come up right, just right up to the front part of the building. Well, that was put on hold because of COVID and other things. And here's the news flash. It's back. And they're not going to do the long version or the uh, more severe one where it's going to take out the building, but it's going to come really, really close. Uh, so close that it's questionable as to whether working on that side of the building will be something that can be done because it's going to be very noisy. You might wonder why are we going to do this? Well, just take a look at the traffic. It's, uh, it's almost five o'clock and cars are starting to pile up here already. They were doing that earlier. Obviously some of that's because of Walker Road itself, the intersection at Murray is kind of piled up with construction. But here's the goal. The goal is actually to relieve that, that pressure and have it expand to the point where there's six lanes at that intersection all the way around. So they got to widen the road and that's where it starts with us. It starts with us at the front. Let's see if I can get my hand up here at the front of our driveway. That's where it's going to start. When is this going to happen? It's going to happen in June. It's going to start in June of 2025, and it is going to continue for two and a half years. That's a long time. And you're thinking, yeah, well, it's been taking a long time to do that other part just from here to or Murray to almost to Fred Meyer. Yes, you are right. Uh, this will take a while as well. What I'm doing right now is I'm actually walking the rough path of where the the sidewalk will hit. This is the offices here, and it's about 10 feet from the house. So you can imagine cars going by again. We are, as you can see again, it's packed up here, stacked with cars. And the goal is to try to relieve that so that again, this project will continue. When it is done in 2027, they said that it will be then the city who met with us on Tuesday uh, will, the representative, will then move further down Walker Road to Cedar Hills Boulevard to kind of complete the project, at least uh, for that next, let's just say, length or part of the project. So, a couple things. How do we respond to this? Well, I hope we will respond to it with grace. I hope I'll respond to it with grace. See, it's going to be messy, dirty, and noisy, especially here in the office because of all the construction. But when you come to Mass, you might find that the front entrance will be a little more congested. The company said they're not going to stage any equipment here on the off hours, but they're going to try to avoid when there's high traffic. And of course, for us, that is the weekends. Can't say what's going to happen on the weekdays. Obviously, we have school. That's an issue. Uh, we will walk with that when we get there. Again, my instinct, it, instinct with this is like, well, we can complain about it. I'm not sure that's going to do much good. I mean, for us spiritually, that's what I'm most concerned about. Is that this is the least that we can do. In fact, it's funny, right? As I'm talking right now, maybe there's some guidance by God here. Let's see if I can get it in there. there. Maybe there's some guidance by God's trying to tell us that he's in charge. Even when difficult things happen, there's a rainbow to be found in all the difficult things. So you can choose to be bitter or better. When at Mass, we hear the priest say, Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. 
Well, my sacrifice is, of course, that sacrifice that's on the altar. Your sacrifice may be getting to the church. Maybe a little bit inconvenient. It may be a little more congested on the other side where a parkway is, that entrance is. And we have a choice. I, my recommendation is offer it up. Don't be a victim, but recognize that there is a suffering here. There is a cross. And let's embrace it. Let's embrace that cross. Let's say, Lord, your will be done, not mine. And I know that Maybe construction is not something that we think about God's will, but it is before us. And we always have a decision. What is God's will in the situations that we find ourselves? I hope that we can be people that, of joy at the end of the rainbow or at the end of the parking lot or the beginning of the rainbow or wherever that begins. So prepare yourself now. I'm going to. In June, it's going to start, it's gonna start getting messy. Furthermore, more plans that we're kind of pondering or I'm pondering on is as when Father Dave was thinking about how to deal or respond to the issue with the office because the offices could either be taken out or at least um, the road would be so close it would be not really feasible to work there. We need to start pondering on that. I don't know exactly what that will mean. I just love rainbows. I'm going to come back over here. I don't know exactly what that's going to mean for us, but I'm going to ask that you pray again that we would be able to find God's will in all of this kind of stuff. How do we do that? Well, again, like I said, prayer. But pray for God's will, not your own, not for your own desires or your own personal interests, but for what God is designing, what God wants. My plan at this point is to form what I call a dream team or a dream committee, if you will, so that we can ponder on ideas. We can be, uh, we'll look at some plans of the actual campus and see what exactly, where everything is and what our, what our mission is and where we're being called to go forward and do these buildings as they are fit our, our needs. I, th I have a feeling you're thinking about some of those feelings and thoughts yourself right now as you hear this. But I want to then, and I will choose these individuals and approach them personally. It's not gonna be just everybody on board that is a humongous committee of 3,100 families. Uh, but I will be looking to the different ministries, specifically for people who are broad looking, not just the personal interest of their ministry, broad looking at the whole of the church. And then willing to offer ideas, be able to be critiqued and also let go of those ideas. Not only anybody dying for their ideas, because that's not how we do things. We collaborate, we pray, and we ask what the God wants us to do. So that's kind of my plan. And I hope that you will uh, start now praying. Because, you know, this traffic thing that we got going on here, it's, it's a mess. And yes, nobody likes it. I don't like it. But what are you going to do? We are Holy Trinity. We're a family and we need each other. We need to stick together. And when this happens, when it begins in June, I'm looking forward to how this is gonna bond us together, not tear us apart. I've done some building projects before and I remember the person that did the fundraising for it with us, he said, this is gonna bring your church together. I mean, that's my hope and it was, it was wonderful because again, it wasn't a clash of personalities. It was discernment for what God's will is willing to be flexible and go forward. Well, folks, this weekend I'm gonna be offering the masses. Uh, Father Anthony is not on vacation, he's not around. He's on a silent retreat. Yes, and Deacon Brett will be preaching. So he's preparing, pray for him. And I'll see you this weekend. God bless, bye-bye.